Hello guys, Antoine here for Sim Architecture and welcome back to the channel. So I know I've been away for quite a long time, actually almost one month, but I really need this break and I think it was good for me because um, it was a time where I didn't have much inspiration and not much time to do the videos. So I didn't want to record bad videos just to publish a video, I prefer to take a little break just to take my time and finish all the things I had to do and come back with a lot of inspiration. So today I'm back with a big French chateau which is inspired by a real chateau which is called the Chateau de Blérancourt. It's located uh, in northern, northern France and actually the biggest part of it was destroyed so today there are only the two small pavilion that you can see a bit later in the video at the entrance of the castle they're located half in the water half in the courtyard kind of but there are a lot of drawings sketches and floor plans of this castle so we know how it looked and there are a few pictures if i remember well because actually this was just no the castle was destroyed um during the second world war worldwide war um so yes um and also i have a book with many french chateau and there are some 3d renders of this chateau so i really had a precise idea of how it looked like it is actually a beautiful piece of architecture which really inspired me to build this build um, using a lot of elements made by Felixander as always when I'm building like an historical mansion and it's quite accurate actually of course there are some things I cannot do like dormers I put a few of them but there were much more um, dormers on the real palace but I think when I'm building something, it don't have doesn't have to be 100% accurate. So yeah, it was not a big problem for me. The roofing also is kind of different because, as you know, if you're building in The Sims 4, the roofing is always the trickiest part in the build, the most complicated thing when you want to do, some, to do something quite elaborate. So yeah. I struggle a bit with the roof, but actually it's, it looks cool, I think. I hope so. Um, this chateau looks pretty big from the outside. Um, there is a bit, big courtyard. There are some, uh, I don't know how to call it, um, a big pond around the castle, some water. Um, and so yeah, it, look, it looks really big from the outside, but actually when I went inside the palace I was like wow it's kind of tiny I don't know how I will put all the rooms together so what I decided to do is that I only furnished a few rooms the whole castle is not furnished um, I furnished the main rooms just so you can see what it could look like but you know all the rooms would have been kind of the same so I think it would have been boring to record the whole interior decoration. I think the exterior is more interesting as it's quite different from the other palaces or chateaus I built before and yeah so in this video we're more focusing on the exterior even if there are a few rooms that you can see. In the interior, um, I built the main staircase, so the entrance hall, which is beautiful according to me. I don't know if it's accurate or not. Um, well, it's not accurate, I can see it, because I didn't find any drawing of the interior, so I really don't know how it looked like. And I don't care that much. I just wanted each room to be kind of special with a different style with some special elements so the interior is really eclectic mixing mixing some different style and eras 
there's some baroque stuff there's some 19th century stuff also 18th century stuff georgian stuff so everything is mixed just to create a really elaborate and luxury atmosphere so don't expect this build to be like a real french chateau from the 18th century that's not what it is so I built the main staircase, which I really like. Um, it's all made of stone and there's some golden details. It looks really luxurious actually, but not too much. Um, and it's really warm and welcoming and I use some arches, which look more um, Roman or 19th century. Mixing other elements. On the first floor, there is the main living room, which is yellow, um, which is actually quite similar to the white drawing room in Buckingham Palace, especially the columns and the curtains. Attached to this big living room, there are two smaller rooms. So there is the blue living room or drawing room. Uh, and there is a study room with a desk and yeah, a few seats when you want to invite someone to walk with you. Um, yes. On the other side, there is the dining room, which looks more like a 17th century dining room because I used a lot of marble, a lot of yeah, stone sort of heavy decoration so it's not as light and as pure if I can say as the 18th century it's much more yeah it looks actually like Versailles under Louis XIV um, it's really heavy with different marbles different colors but it's really beautiful and really luxurious really fancy so this is this dining room attached to this dining room there are two other rooms uh, and I only furnished one of them which is another small drawing room which is pink and blue but mostly pink I mean the whole room is pink and the seats are blue um, it really fits well together and it's probably my favorite room in this chateau and then there is um, Upstairs, a big, um, it's not even a bedroom or a bed chamber, it's a whole apartment with the main bedroom. And then there's a small private gallery, which I think is really nice. And then there are two rooms on each side of the gallery, um, which I didn't furnish, but it could be a drawing room. and. Or a boudoir and then the bathroom of course which I didn't do because I think bathroom is always not the most interesting thing ever and as I told you I really wanted to focus on the main rooms of the chateau so I thought it was not interesting to build the bathroom and actually that's pretty much it about the interior um I'm not telling you much about it I prefer you to see it by yourself um, because I'm not really good at describing every decoration element so it will be better if you watch it by yourself. Um, anyway, it was a lot of fun for me to build this chateau. It was kind of different as I said as the other chateau I did and you know sometimes I'm kind of stressed because I really want to build the exact same as what I saw on the picture and I didn't have this problem with this build because it was really free actually and then so I can do whatever I want because I didn't have a model of what it looked like in real life because it doesn't exist anymore so I really enjoy being free for this build and doing whatever the fuck I want um, did I say the F word? Yes, uh, <laughs> I, I'm sorry, most of the time I don't say it, actually when I'm recording, but in real life I'm squaring a lot and when I'm in public or when I'm recording a voiceover, I always try not to pronounce the F word, but yeah, I'm sorry, I will never say it again. Um, 
yes. It's not as elegant. Yeah, I mean, my language is not as elegant as the place I'm building, and I'm sorry for that. I hope you're not too shocked. Um, but actually, as you know, I'm French, and in French, it's quite normal to swear. It's not as serious as using the effort in English. It's like natural to swear in French. Um, yes, excuse me. Um, a lot of things went since uh, we talked to each other last time, which was one month ago. Actually, I did so many things that I don't even know what happened. I mean, it's strange, but I didn't have a really good memory in short term. Um, I can remember some really useless details, but when it comes to remember what I did the weeks before or what I ate a few hours before, I'm not able to see it. So, yes, the main thing is that I went to Paris and Versailles, of course. I cannot go to Paris without going to Versailles because it's close to each other. Um, so I spent a whole day in Versailles, and it was fantastic as always. I went to the Garden Winter, which is really a lot of fun because you're actually alone in the garden. There are no tourists, and well, most of the people think the garden is not beautiful in the winter. It's false, actually. It's different. I wouldn't say it's more beautiful or less beautiful. It's just different, and the atmosphere is really special. And as you're almost alone in the whole garden it's really unique and the feeling you get is something really special so I spent the day in Versailles and then I went to Paris where I met two friends for the weekend and we visited a fantastic museum which is the Musée Jacques Marandré and it was the so-called Hotel Particulier which is kind of a city palace and it's actually one of the most opulent city palaces of Paris which was owned by a rich family where well, it was not a family it was just a couple because they didn't have children anyway they were collecting all sorts of arts paintings decorative arts sculpture from any time and they actually turned their house into a museum kind of and the interiors are absolutely breathtaking it's like really one of the most beautiful places in the whole capital and really it's something I wanted to visit for a long time and I finally did it and I don't regret it it was fantastic and it gave me a lot of inspiration for the coming build maybe and yeah but it's always kind of overwhelming to just to discover such places and to think that people actually lived in this place it's quite crazy and it was not a long time ago it was like less than one century ago so yes it was really something special and after that we visited the great mosque of paris which is also something i wanted to visit for a long time and i have to say i was kind of disappointed because the it was more beautiful on the pictures than in real life, and it was much smaller than what I found. Um, anyway, it's beautiful, and you really don't think like you're in Paris. You really feel like you're in Morocco or in some Eastern Muslim uh, country. So just for that, it was a good place to go, and it's not expensive. The entrance is like two euros, I think, when you're a student, so it's nothing, and. It's still worth it, but don't expect to visit it for hours. I mean, 20 minutes, 30 maybe, is enough to visit this place. And then we went back to the Louvre. Uh, actually, we always go to the Louvre when we're in Paris. And I um, don't know if you heard about it, but it's one of the most famous streets in Paris. It's called Rue de Rivoli, so Rivoli Street. And it's next to the Louvre and there is one of the most beautiful cafe in France and maybe in the world which is called Angelina and it was absolutely sumptuous the whole I mean it's so decadent the interior is like so luxurious they're 
gold everywhere, paintings, chandeliers, and of course wonderful pastries. <laughs> I only ate one, but I could have eaten like ten of them. They were so delicious, probably the most delicious pastry I've ever eaten. And also beautiful and delicious tea with that. It was quite expensive, I'm not going to lie, but definitely worth it. Just for the atmosphere, the decor, the decoration, sorry, and the pastries. I mean, wow, they're so good. And yeah, it was a beautiful experience. And the day after that, on Sunday, we didn't do much, actually. We were kind of tired of our day. And we just spent time uh, walking along the Seine River and enjoying the sun because it was really sunny. It really felt like April or May. It was so hot. So it was really a beautiful time and when I came back it was full of energy and power and inspiration and I jumped to the sims to finish this castle and now I feel like I'm going to be really back on the channel. I'm really happy about it. There are also some special content coming because as you know there is a new game pack. So on Sunday I will be able to publish a video probably a speed build, well, it will be a speed build using the new game pack element and I'm not allowed to tell you anything but believe me it's gonna be really good. Um, so yes, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna put it online on Sunday or Monday because I published this video only a few days before so I'm not sure but I will keep you updated as always either on Twitter if you're not following me on Twitter, by the way, please follow me because I'm sharing most of the information about the channel and my creations there because I actually don't use that much the community option on YouTube. I try to, but most of the time I forget. So yeah, if you want to be updated more often than here, you should follow me on Twitter. Yes. Um, I think I told you pretty much everything. I hope it was not too boring to listen to my um, life in Paris. Um, <laughs> but maybe it can give you some ideas if you want to visit Paris. Anyway, if you like this video and this castle, um, please tell me in the comment what you think about it. So if you liked it, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you very soon. Bye.